let's work on question one in this video. So we want to know whether the following production functions have increasing, decreasing or constant returns to scale. Before going there, let's understand a bit the intuition of the math behind this question. So we have a production function which depends on capital and labor. We know that returns to scale has to deal with increasing the capital and labor by a certain proportion, by the same proportion. Let's call that proportion C, which is going to be a constant. We increase it by a certain number, by a certain value. Now, after we increase by a certain proportion, we will have our function multiplied with a proportion as well, because that proportion could make the function increase or decrease. And our job, our goal was going to be to compare the proportion by which you increase the input relative to the proportion by which the output changes. So this is our goal to find. Now this is just the intuition, this is the highlight. Let's apply it to some questions and we'll see how that works out. So for instance, let's take question A. We have the following production function. We'll keep it like that over there to, to, to only write what happens if we increase it by a certain proportion and then we're gonna compare the results. So let's solve question A over here. We will have now the function of CK and CL. So we are increasing the capital and labor by that uh, proportion, meaning we'll have the function looking like four times. Instead of K, we have C times K because recall, that's what it means. We're multiplying with that proportion inside the, inside the input. So for capital, we also keep the one over two power because that's part of the function. And we also increase our input of labor by the, proportion C, C times L to the power 1 over 2. Now let's work out the math and see what we have. We will have 4 times, 4 times, and now recall we're multiplying uh, two terms to the same power. We'll have every base raised to the power, so C to the power 1 over 2 times K to the power 1 over 2 multiplied, we do the same over here, C to the power 1 over 2 multiplied with L to the power 1 over 2. Now let's group the C terms together because that's our goal. We want to see what's going to be the proportion, what's going to be the final proportion in this case. We will have 4 times C to the power 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 because we add the exponents keeping the same base. So we'll have 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 multiplied with K to the power 1 over 2 multiplied with L to the power of 1 over 2. We keep them just like that. Now let's make some uh, order here. C to the power 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2, that's C to the power of 1 multiplied with 4 multiplied with K to the power 1 over 2 multiplied with L to the power 1 over 2. What is 4 times K times L to that specific power? That's our initial function, remember? We have it over here. That is our initial function. So if that's our initial function, the result from increasing the proportion of the inputs, the result from increasing the inputs by a proportion gives us gives us the following, gives us the same proportion multiplied with the initial function, multiplied with our production. This is our production. Well, if we increased our proportions by the constant C, that was our increase, our output also increases by the constant C, well that is an example of constant returns to scale. The increase in the input is the same as the increase in the output. Hope this makes sense. Let's have a look at question B. Let's solve question B now. What do we have there? A k square plus B l square. Let me let me just crop that so that we can uh, we can write it here down as well like that. Hope. Let's do it here below. So this is gonna be part B. Now we have the function. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens when we include the proportion in the inputs when we increase the inputs by the proportion c well we will have now the function looking the following a times ck square so we have ck square plus b times cl squared let's work out the math now we will have we will have a times c to the power 2 times k to the power 2 plus b times c to the power 2 multiplied with l to the power of 2 again let's group the constant together so the c the proportion let's group it together we will have okay but before grouping it together let's take it as a common factor let's take it as a common factor because we have here a uh, addition of two terms and we have a constant factor which is c square and c square if we take it as a common factor we will have left in brackets what are we going to have left in brackets from the first term we're left with a times k square 
a times k square plus from the second term we're left with b times l square now what is a, a k square plus b l square that's our output that's our initial output meaning that after we increase the proportion the, after we increase the inputs by the proportion c we have as a result c square times the output and what do we notice? We notice that our proportion of the increase in the output is c to the power of 2. And the proportion of the increase in the input is only c, c to the power 1. c to the power of 2 is greater than z to the power of 1, meaning that our increase in output is greater than the increase in input, meaning that we have an example of increasing returns to scale. Hope this makes sense. Let's leave it like that for this video. In the next video, we'll keep solving the other functions.